sorry about that. I don't think they mismanage him. But one thing that really brought my attention from the film, watch Aaron Rodgers' arm speed. So that lets you know that the bone, because he broke his right collarbone. I broke my left collarbone. So you know if he can move his arm that fast and shoulder, you know that the bone is healed. So now what you're worried about is just contact. If he can generate that much velocity with his arm, I know in a couple weeks he'll be able to potentially play in the game. Will he be able to take the pounding? That is the question mark. So, no, I don't think they mismanaged it, mismanaged the injury, but looking at his arm and the velocity for which he can create with his shoulder, he's not babying these throws. He's throwing these balls around 40 and yards. And this is what you're looking at, this video right yes, here. Yes, right here. His okay. shoulder and how quick the rotation is, it lets you know that he's pain-free and that bone has completely healed. Even if they could have just gotten him back one week early, even if he wouldn't be ready this week or next week, just back one week early, then they shouldn't have put him on IR. The benefit from putting him on IR is so minimal that you, you just get one, you free up one roster well, spot. Well, I think that the benefit is a lot greater than you realize having another player that you can have active on game day compared to having, you're, you're, you're handicapping yourself against the field. They got 53 and you only got 52.